Hi, I'm going to talk to you about interpreting graphs, particularly position versus time graphs and velocity versus time graphs. Here I have a position versus time graph, and I'm going to talk about interpreting it, asking questions about velocity. Remember, velocity is given by the slope of the position versus time graph. So since this is a smooth curve, not straight lines, you remember slope in this case means slope of tangent. So for example, at a given point here, the slope would be the slope of the tangent. And so the slope of that tangent line is the velocity at, at that particular time. So I've asked this question, when is V fastest? So I have to ask, so when is the slope steepest? So letting my hand be the slope, I ask, when is the slope steepest? Here the slope is zero. Here I've got the steepest slope. So somewhere around here, the slope is steepest, so that's where V would be fastest, so around two seconds. Kind of missed it a little bit, but you get the idea. The slope would be steepest right around that region. When is V zero? Well, when the slope is horizontal, there and there, that means the velocity is zero. So here at say four seconds and at around seven seconds, the velocity would be zero. So, so the particle stops twice, the car, the, whatever this is. When does the object move to the left? Well, when the slope is positive, the object, that means a positive velocity. So in this region, the particle is moving to the right. In this region, the slope is negative. That means the object is moving to the left. In this region, it's moving to the right again because the slope is positive. So between here and here, the slope would be negative. So between four seconds and around seven seconds, the object would be moving to the left. Then I'm asked specifically, what is the velocity at 10 seconds? That means here at 10 seconds, I have to find the slope of the tangent. So I draw a tangent line there. That one's a little bit in the way, so I'll draw another one here at that point. So I'll draw a tangent line, and I have to take the slope of that tangent line. I can pick any two points on that tangent line. I don't have to pick a point there. Any two convenient points. So I could, for example, go here and here at the point 13, 6, 13 seconds, 6 meters. And I can come down and find some other convenient point like seven seconds, three meters appears to be on that line. So V is delta X over delta T is six meters minus three meters over 13 seconds minus seven seconds. So six minus three is three meters, 13 minus 7 is 6, so this is 0.5 meters per second. So at 10 seconds, the particle is moving at 0.5 meters per second to the right. So that's our first example. Now our second example, here I have a position versus x versus time t graph, and I just want to describe the motion. Now I've got the motion divided into these three regions where the slope is constant in those regions. So in region one, slope is constant. Slope of position versus time is velocity. So this means constant velocity in this region. So in this region, since the slope is positive, I know the particle is moving to the right, moving to right, whatever it is, the particle, the car, and V is delta X over delta T is 10 meters minus zero meters over four seconds minus zero seconds. So 10 over four is two and a half, two and a half meters per second. So in here, this region, particles moving to the right at two and a half meters a second. In this region, part the slope is steeper, particles going faster. Slope is positive, particles still moving to the right. So moving to right, V is delta X over delta T is 30 meters, see this is the point 30, minus 10 meters over 6 seconds minus 4 seconds. 
that's 20 over 2, 10 meters per second. And then in region 3, the slope is zero. So that means V is zero. So the particle is stopped. Call me a particle, it could be a car, or a spaceship, whatever. Whatever it is, it's stopped. And it's stopped at x equal 30. So that's our interpretation of this graph of x versus t. Now, what if instead of position versus time, this had been a graph of velocity versus time, velocity in meters per second versus time? It's a little more subtle, but not much. Now, slope of velocity versus time is acceleration. So in region one, now we know the particle has an acceleration. It's got positive velocities because the particle has velocity somewhere between zero and 10. It's speeding up between zero meters per second to 10 meters per second in that region because it has a, an acceleration of delta V over delta T is now 10 meters per second minus zero meters per second over four seconds minus zero second, two and a half meters per second squared. So the particle had a positive velocity between zero, it sped up, moving to the right from zero to 10 meters per second with an acceleration of two and a half meters per second squared. In this region, the particle was sped up even more from 10 meters a second to 30 meters a second with an acceleration delta V over delta T of the 30 meters a second minus 10 meters a second over six seconds minus four seconds. So 30 minus 10 is 20 over two. This is 10 meters per second squared. So the particle still positive velocities between 10 and 30. So moving to the right, possibly up um, and accelerating at 10 meters per second squared. In region three, the slope is zero. That does not mean the velocity is zero anymore. The velocity is 30 meters per second. So the, the particle is moving either up or to the right at 30 meters per second, and the acceleration is zero. So we've got a different interpretation, clearly, if this is velocity versus time than if it had been the position versus time. So, so there you have it, a bit of an introduction to interpreting graphs. So and you can practice that in your homework. See ya.